Greetings, Warriors of the Ring. My name is Strider656, and I'm so thrilled to welcome you back to another series. Uh, this series I entitled the 2022 World Tournament, um, and it features the play that I did. Um, I was in the round robin portion of it, which was eight games, and I didn't do too well, spoiler alert. So I'm not going to tell you which ones I win or lose. We'll just find out what together as we rewatch. And I haven't seen these in a long time, so I'm watching this from scratch, and I'm going to watch it from my perspective. I'm going to say exactly what I think I should do, and then I'm going to see what I do, and then I'm probably going to cringe. We can cringe together. So I really hope you enjoy the series, and um, yeah, here we go. So I'm playing Cavaliero, or Cavaliero for um, the first match, and I am free. He is Shadow. I draw into Grimmelborn and Mirror of Galadriel. All right. Uh, he allocates an eye and rolls two more. I roll this. What I'm thinking now is what I should do is play Grimmelborn for the card effect so that I can draw into another card with Gandalf's ability. Um, and then I could consider moving after that. Uh, let's see what uh, let's see what I do. All right. Ooh, so maybe I'm going to do it. All right, I drew a strategy card. I don't know why. I don't really understand that. All right, he moves Isengard down. I move the Fellowship. Okay, let's see how what happens. Ooh, he hits on the first uh, first roll. He wrote "found you." Exclamation point! It's a one reveal. I say, thinking of losing Gandalf. It's been a tough journey so far. Uh, so I move Gandalf, and then I think about it, and I say, I'll take the one. Okay. He puts Saruman in. I flip the Fellowship using my Will of the West. He draws a strategy card, and I move the Elves down. And he plays Starts and Promises. I say, oof. We'll go to turn two. I draw the Eagles are coming and guards of the Citadel. I should play that with Gandalf's ability, maybe. Uh, he says, I promise my tenders are peaceful in reaction to the threats and promises. I said, I knew it would be a friendly time. He said, you better just keep believing that or else. I say, fellowship, okay. Uh, he draw he rolls a lot of armies, but not very many musters. Uh, and I roll two movement. Okay, so here's what I think I should do. I should possibly um, move. I probably should probably pass, actually, to see what he does, see if I should react. Uh, let's see what I do. Oh, I go right away. Uh, makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. Um, he rolls a four. I'm safe. Okay, um, and he moves his armies up into Gorth, uh, Gorgoroth. I know I'm passing. Okay, draw a strategy card. I move again. Hit. He says, gotcha. Lucky hunt tonight. Oh, that hurts. It's an eye. Let's see. I would, I would take it nowadays. Let's see if I take the damage. I wouldn't kill Gandalf for this. Move the Fellowship. I said, thank you. Maybe I'll check out the Hospitality of the Dwarves. Oh, what a zero reveal. That hurts. Okay, not what I wanted, I say. He says, ha ha. He said, that's fine. He says, the halls are still moderately hospitable, it seems. All right, he moves his armies out towards Gondor. Okay, I play Guards of the Citadel here. Makes sense since I can't muster them at all. He moves Sauron to war. I pass. He moves out. Pass again. He moves towards Lorien, it looks like. I think it, made, what it might have made sense to use my um, army action to put a, 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 a elf unit out so that it could be attacked. 
because that would move it down, which should get rid of threats and promises. I'm just going to check. Okay, yeah, so that would work. So that would be... So as the Free People's Nation advances on the political track, so that would advance them if that happened. So I think... I do the standard moves, okay. He plays War with Siren Trail, good move by him. I say, rough going for the fellowship. He says, the road is bleak, but their bonds are strong. All right, we go to turn three. I draw on the Wizard Staff and Wisdom of Elrond. I say, fellowship, okay, but not happy. I say, um, hold on. I change the guide here. It says Strider. And I decide to flip the fellowship using Strider. He plays Foul Thing, draws a two, and draws. He makes me draw. And I draw Legolas, which is, I think, Warm with Sorrow. I don't know what this got discarded. That's okay. Uh, I, I play Wizard Staff now. I ask a question to him. Can I change the guides as I took a random? He says, no, you can only change the guide at the beginning of the turn or when the current guide is eliminated. He sa I said, you can if there's a casualty. He says, nope, unless the casualty was a current guide. I said, I feel like you can if the composition of the fellowship changes in any way. He says, let's check the rules. One moment. I said, I mean, it might be moot since I killed the die and resolved the action, but I'll check in with you if possible. And I checked the rule book, and page 37 says, the free people may nominate a new guide at the end of each fellowship phase, or during the course of the turn, the composition of the fellowship changes due to a character being separated or eliminated from the fellowship. And I say, I've noted that I could use Gandalf because I could draw another card. So I move Gandalf. Ooh, that, that's illegal. Okay, that wasn't... All right. Well, I'm a jack, yay. That's stupid. Uh, I say I drew a card for you to take away. Okay, so my turn then. He moves in. I move the Fellowship. I get hit again, but I use Staff. He looks like he's uh, moving his Nazgul around. Move the Fellowship again. I missed. He re-rolls nothing. He says, all right, still nothing. Law of averages, I hope I say. He said, let's hit Lorien. Does that remove threats? He says, yep. So threats is gone, and Lorien's under siege. Text Lorien again. Uh, I'm probably going to play either Heroic Death or Confusion. That's what I would play. Play Confusion. So it's Deadly Strife. Ouch for him. He rolled two ones. Uh, and only got two hits. And I roll three hits back. Ooh, that's painful. So five hits. And I take two. Ooh, I take an Elven Elite. That's so stupid. All right. Uh, I, I should have taken... Um, Taking it differently, like downgraded, because he's not going after any other elven territory. So it makes more sense to just downgrade him to two regulars here. All right, say so LOL, that helped a little. I'm so used to confusion missing. All right, and I draw into my, my cards, and I go to Lorien so that I can discard uh, War of Siren Toil. I move back a corruption. I say taking a brief stop. Had to relieve some sorrow and toil. Fellowship okay. I'm going to turn four. He rolls that. Ooh, still no Gandalf. I think. So I start from moving the fellowship. He misses. I say, I think the elves are at war. He says, yeah, they ought to be. So they're at war now. 
So that way he can bring the Witch King in if he wants. He plays Olagai to reinforce and Lorien. I think. And then I play Kyrdan Ships. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? It would make more sense. I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to get a strategy card. Okay. So it's only Emeralds this flight. I draw into Thrandil. That's good. It brings us to Witch King. Um, I move the Fellowship again. He hits with a zero reveal. So Gandalf stays alive. I do three dots because I'm mad that, that Gandalf's alive. He says, hey, hey, Gandalf is never going away, is he? He plays Morgul Wound. Perfect play by him. Then I had the Fellowship. And that's all him. I think I hid because I was worried he was going to attack me with cards. But he didn't have any way to attack me with cards, seeing that there's no characters left. So, all right. So let's hit Lorien. I say, okay. He chooses a card. Um, I would play Heroic Death or Daylight here. Let's see what I do. Ooh, Daylight. Good choice by me. Desperate Battle he plays. He asks for clarification about his Witch King draw. I say after the round. And after determine if you're going to press. He gets one. One hit. I get two back. See, it would have been better if I had three units there, right? And now I have two left. He says done and drawing. I say okay. And I realize I should have dropped Gandalf up at Lorien to die. Which would be funny. Because then I could play a heroic death. Text Lorien no card. I play heroic death now. He gets two hits, which would be one. Uh, I get one back. Keeps attacking. No card. He gets it. And um, I don't take anything else back. I asked him if he's ever used Eagles are coming at the last battle. Um, and he says Eagles is pretty nice, but you need a companion. Yep. All right, so he summons the he musters the Southrons and Easterlings. All right, this game is uh, interesting. So as I watch back um, and I'm reflecting right now, I just feel really guilty about that wizard staff. I mean, the game's over now, but you know you never want to make a mistake as a player, and this is me as a new player as I'm watching this. But yeah, that was I feel so sorry about that. All right, I draw into Smeagol and Swords and Ariador. Say Fellowship, okay. And I get a Will of the West, finally. Let's see if he hits me here. Miss. Then I notice his roll is pretty terrible. So I said, nice roll there. He plays on and they went. Move the Fellowship again, he hits me. It's a one. And Gandalf is gone. So let's see what's left in the pool. Yeah, there's still the threes left. Yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty close to Mordor at this point. So, okay, I think I'm doing, that makes sense to lose him to the one. And I can get Gandalf for sure because the Southrons and Easterlings are not yet at war. So no, he can't play Day Without Dawn. So I agree with my decision. Strider goes to the guide. And I write, I stopped caring at that point. He says, ha ha. I said, he should have left at the Fords of Bruinen. Oh, so I should have killed him. That's what I meant. But I didn't, don't think I rolled a Will of the West since then. He's drawing character cards now. Gandalf is in. Plays Isildur's Bane. Draws a three. So all of a sudden my corruption looks like hell. Ooh, that's six. I pass. He brings South Rose Easterlings down. What's he doing now? He's mustering up the, with Saruman. I uh, pass again. 
brings his troops to Umbar. But, I mean, if I look now, you know, Gondor looks fine. I have full stacks. Pass again. Nice Corsairs. I have no leadership, though, so which, you know, it's painful, but. I think, and I play Thranduil's Archers. So I can draw another card. I think, I probably think hoping to draw Dimmer Hill of Dalamroth. So I'm not too mad about this decision. Faramir's range is a good time for that. Let's hope he doesn't attack us Gilead. Oh, he does. Okay. <laughs> Poor me. Plays a note card. I play Scouts and bring him to Pelar gear. Makes sense. All right, going to turn six. Uh, let's see. I think I'm doing okay. I'm at five, cor six corruption. Not too hot. Let's see what happens. I, I should probably declare into Minas Tirith because of this. I think I do. So I kill Swords of Eriador. I have two Ent cards. Move my Corruption back. And he rolls two more eyes, and I roll this. Oh, and I start by bringing a Gondor Elite to Minas Tirith. He attacks Minas Tirith. I think about a field battle. And I say, hold on, yeah, field battle, no. I'm so indecisive, siege. And I go into siege. And you might notice in the chats that Cinema McLovin has loaded a game file. That's because we played this game and I totally misplayed a rule that we did, which was I separated Boromir to Pelar gear and played um, House of the Stewards. That game ended up in a win for me. So I'm not going to tell you how this one ends, but we'll just keep watching to find out. So this is after like two days or three days. So Sir McLevin wrote, the players are replaying a game from here due to a large butterfly effect from a rules mistake. The Shadow has agreed not to muster an Orthanc before the FP has a chance to use his Ents. But the tactical situation may change in turn 7 when this deal expires. So we check in again. I say, just woke up, well rested, fresh for the fight. Um, I say, here's hoping. And we're set for my turn. I say, I thought about this for days. I'll go with this. And I put Boromir in Minas Tirith. Yeah, I said, uh, lots of strategizing. I said, yeah, but I said I don't overthink because I want to try to keep the integrity of the game. He moves the Witch King and all the Nazgul over to Dol Amroth. Um, now I play my Ents cards. So let's see what how I do. I get two and one. So I get three total. And then I play House of Stewards out of that. So that I can get another Elite and Boromir into Minas Tirith. So that looks very strong. And I also get to draw two cards from that. Let's see what I draw into. Riders of Theoden. Emre Hill of Dol Amroth. Great timing. Let's see if I can play it. Uh, he plays Grand, which I knew was coming because in our previous game that was glitched, uh, I saw this played. I say it seems familiar. Um, he starts right with a Relentless Assault. Look, roll, um, gets rid of two. Only gets one. He says, ouch. Much less dramatic than last time. Ooh, no, it's none for the reroll. So it only took one hit from me. I'd say, yeah, my card draws are also different. Um, and Cavalier reminds me that it, remind, it randomizes whenever I draw. Um, I only got one hit back. Let's see what I did for a casualty here. I think that might have been a mis... Well, I, it's not really a mistake. Let's see. I still have a regular and elite in the force pool. All right. That makes sense. Because Lorien died, so there's a lot of dead elves already to take from. 
All right, round two. He draws his strategy card. I'm probably going to play a shield wall or a daylight here. I play, I play daylight, to be honest. I do. And he plays Relentless Assault again. Takes one. And gets one hit. And I get two back. This is going a lot better for me. And we go into round three. I'm probably going to play a shield wall. Probably Faramir's Rangers. And he gets one. And I get one. And now I play Imrahil to reinforce. He says, ha, nice. I say, lucky. He thinks he moves his guys to his Gilead. And one guy to Umbar probably to protect against the military victory. Which makes sense because I could just walk in with that Pelar gear unit. Uh, I say pass. And then I decide to go. Let's see what I do here. I think. Oh, then I pass again. Okay. I say, I'll see what you do first. Good job. Pass me. He does the voice. And I play the red arrow. Right, because I don't want to move the fellowship because their corruption is really high. All right. And he's, he's uh, reinforcing. Let's see what he does. He moved the Witch King to as Gilead now. Okay. So we go to turn seven. I say slightly different. Uh, let's see what I draw into. Challenge of the King and Killerborn Skeladrim. So, Challenge of the King could be good for a sudden strike if he attacks Minas Tirith. Killerborn is good for the daylight effect. Push the wrong button. Sorry, everyone who's watching. I declare. Did I heal corruption? I don't even know. Oh, I think I did. Yeah, I'm down to four now. I decide to muster up. What am I doing here? All right. So it looks like I brought Rohan down. All right. So previous me did, couldn't be, make any decisions here. Oh, it looks like I'm moving the Fellowship. He re-rolls. Safe. I said, no problem. Try my best to follow the rules. He says, quite so. He says, let's hit Polar Gear from Osgiliath. I say NC, then I realize that he has to choose first. Uh, I do no card. Oh, he gets three hits. Nice. I get one back. I say events are different. I draw a strategy card. What am I hoping for here? I don't know. I kind of like my decision of moving um, God of Rohan to war instead of whatever I just did. So it looks like he's reinforcing up into um, Dol Amroth while closing Gondor down. Now I bring Rohan down. Okay. He uses voice again. I pass. And he's continuing with voice. I move those guys up to west of Net. And he's continuing to move armies around. I'm thinking of using a ring here. And I do to move the fellowship. I think that's stupid. I'm not getting into Mordor right now. Like, what was the point of that? Gets three hits. Draws a one. Fortunate for that. I just move the corruption up. Any reserve I'm not revealed. So that's actually better. Good thing I wasn't revealed. Plays Black Captain Commands. Oh, it's like he wants to attack Delamroth again. Well, I have an advantageous position in the daylight, which should be helpful. Let's see what I do. I play Daylight, he plays Onslaught. 
Uh, so he gets one hit. And I get three back. He thinks, debates an onslaught, decides to kill three. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Gets none. But he can reinforce from Lamadin if he needs to. All right, we go into turn eight. I draw, we prove the Swifter and the Spirit of Mordor. I decide to declare. Why? Why would I declare? Oh my god. I should have stayed in Minas Tirith because now I'm susceptible to all these events. So dumb. And then I could have separated Strider here to crown him as Aragorn. But I think I need to keep him as a corruption sponge. Move the fellowship. He gets who reveals me. So, okay. And he draws into a three. So I take Strider here. Okay. Hide the fellowship. It looks like he's just reinforcing his troops over in Rohan. The second Dol Amroth again. It's crazy. He's a wild man. There's five troops in there. Um, I'm probably going to play Advantageous Position. Perfect. Because golly gee. Oh, he gets three hits. And I only got one. So now it's looking better for him. He, really, he says he can't press. He draws a character card. I put Smeagol in the pool. Now he wants to finish Joel Amroth here. I do no card. And he gets it. So Joel Amroth is taken. I said it took a lot longer. He said many great efforts. I pass. And I think... Yeah, I think I should move my troops into Helm's Deep. Let's see what I do. Oh! And I do pass. So he continues to make that bigger. What did I... I am so confused by myself. I think it would make more sense to use the um, army action to like separate guys down. And, yeah, but I don't know what I would do with the character. All right, let's see what I do. He says he's probably way too risk averse, um, but he uses voice again. He uses voice again, so he's using it a lot. And then I check his pool. Let's look at his pool. Yeah, there's one lone Isengard unit left that isn't out. Okay. He says an army worthy of Sauron, which is funny. I decide to bring um, Rohan to war. And he hits the fords. And I play scouts. Okay. And he plays, ooh, Sora Bats. Oh, he destroys them. And I get nothing back. See, I think I should have just moved him in. Because then that army would be a lot bigger. So, whatever. So I move into Mordor. I draw into Path of the Woeses, which could be helpful. Um, possibly to help with Minas Tirith. If I want. I declare. And I roll two possible movement here on two eyes. My first movement. Oh, he, we build the pool. All right, let's look at the hunt pool. It's not too bad. I mean, there's a lot of eyes. There's one negative one here. Let's see what happens. He draws Smeagol. Perfect. So I go down one. Dex Helm is deep. And I realize I should have um, mustered first. I say, oh shoot, I misplayed. Yeah, yeah, you did. And I muster an Edoras instead. Tax Helm's Deep again. 
I play no card. He plays Desperate Battle. That's going to turn my cards on. Could have played Sudden Strike. He gets three hits. And I get... That's one hit. All right. So pass me again. Got it wrong. Okay, so we'll call it even now for my mistake before. He has no card. He gets one hit. And I get two back. He decides not to press anymore. He uses his voice to muster up an Orthanc. I said, here they come again. All right, we're back. He attacks Helm's Deep again. No card, no card. He gets his one. And I get one back. So good job. Helm's Deep is gone. So he just needs three more points. And I decide to muster up an Edoras. He attacks Westham Net. No card. I say no card. He gets his hit. I don't hit back. Um, I draw a character card. I got Bilbo Sun, which is helpful for my corruption. He uses a ring to hit Edoras. I do no card. He gets two hits. I get one back. He presses and I go to fold. Now he's at eight points. And now I move the fellowship. I get an I, which is a three. So I take Gimli and Mary and flip the fellowship. Puts the Palantir of Orthanc out. And we go into turn 10. Turn 10, I draw into File of Galadriel and help unlooked for. I'm probably going to get rid of We Prove the Swifter. I'm not sure. Ooh, I got rid of Help Unlooked for. Odd choice. I think I'm thinking Daring Defiance. I can use that in um, Minas Tirith. Let's see, okay, he adds one more eye. And I roll a lot of movement. I can move four times this turn. Step up the Fellowship. He attacks Fold, no card. He destroys them. I get one hit back. And I move the Palantir down. I said, sorry, I was reading your card. I decided to move the Fellowship instead. I draw two reveal. So I put Gollum out. And Gollum ignores reveals. So I'm at six on Corruption, but I'm almost in um, the, the Crack of Doom. So let's just check the Hunt Pool out. All right, I should be okay if I don't draw that red three or an eye. I'm probably going to play Mithril Coat or Bilbo Song. Let's see what I do. I don't remember what I do. He plays Denethor's Folly, killing a leader in Minas Tirith. All right. I play Mithril Coat. Please give it to us. I pass. Oh, he's putting all the cards in. I pass again. And I realize his Witch King is stuck. So he is in the mouth. I say, there he is. Now I move and I draw an eye, which is a three reveal. I think I'm going to take it. I do. And I flip. He says, going to be close again. I say, yep. Did you have any, expect any different? He says, I had nope. I smile. He thinks. I realize I didn't give him any rings. Except for one. And it looks like he's condensing his forces. I play Bilbo's song. This is nice. Um, I thought about using a ring to hide, but I don't want him to use, get, a, get a ring. Use this as an army. Okay. Looks like he's trying to reinforce Orthanc. 
Uh, I go into turn 11. I get a power two great, and there's another way. There's another way, it's perfect. That's great. So I only need to get one roll of, it's one roll of a movement. Um, and it would be nice if I rolled a Palantir here. Only rolls one eye, and I roll this, and I start by um, playing that to hide. Makes sense. It doesn't really impact anything. And I think I say, "Hmm." Chilab's lair goes in. So the hunt pool, is, which was friendly, now has all four red tiles, and there's only four tiles that'll win me the game. But I do have mithril coat. So let's see what happens. I play file. He laughs. I say, looks like all I have are musters, dot, dot, dot. And I say 50% chance. It's more than that because I can re-roll. I can redraw. And that's actually a lie because I would, I would win with everything except for the red tiles. And there's five um, beige or blue ones. And I say that too in the chat. And now I'm going to dunk the ring, hopefully. Let's see what I draw. It says, phew, here we go. I draw the red three. And I play Mithril Coat. And then I draw an eye. So GG. This one I won. I said that was crazy close. He said that's all she wrote nicely done. I said again, thanks. So this was my first tournament game of the 2022 World Tournament. I want to give a shout out to Cavaliero, who has been awesome to play with. Um, there's one more game I'm going to share with you, which is when we switch sides. Um, I really hope you enjoyed uh, this game. And I hope you enjoy this series. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, before I let you go, though, i got to remember to share the statistics. So here's how the statistics were of this game. Do you view statistics? And... All right, so looking at the screen, he had a lot of hits. He had plus nine on sixes. Um, wow. That's, that's what's sticking out to me. So it was pretty even. I had a lot of movement, not a lot of Palantirs, not a lot of hybrids, but pretty average game. High hitting, both sides. So anyway, thank you all. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Bye, everyone. Take care.